Well, anybody that knows Sea Shepherd knows that we're an activist organisation, which means that we focus on direct action. My name's James Brook. Um, I've been working with Sea Shepherd uh, Conservation Society for more than three years, and um, I've been a crew member on the Stee Learn in that time. The first year I was a deckhand, and then since then I've been the bosun, and the job of the bosun is to be in charge of the deck crew, um, in charge of safety, launching small boats, anchoring, docking, diving operations, all sorts of stuff like that. And then um, my last year on the ship, um, recently I've been the ship manager, so basically I'm in charge of the ship when it's in port. And um, this year, 2012, uh, the Steve Irwin is uh, in Dock and Williamstown in Melbourne doing a lot of much needed repairs. Our focus is always um, against Ill illegal fishing operations. So we make sure that uh, the people we operate against are actually breaking some sort of international law. We've just acquired a fourth ship, so now we've got four ships. But even though we operate all over the world, um, you know, there's so much um, environmental destruction, so much illegal fishing going on in the oceans. You need a thousand vessels for us to fully protect the oceans. But as it is, what we do I think is very important. Probably in Australia we're best known for going down to Antarctica. And you know, we're actually effective. So the whaling fleet goes to Antarctica every year. The Japanese have a whaling fleet. And um, the entire bottom of the earth is a whale sanctuary, internationally agreed. But they still um, uh, go whaling down there. It's a commercial operation. And um, you know, every year that we go down there, we um, reduce their kill quota. And especially the past two years, we've had a really um, massive effect. You know, basically we chase them, we hunt them down, we hunt down the hunters, and then we um, interfere with them, harass them, and we try to damage their equipment and stop them whaling. The whalers in Antarctica pretty much try to kill us. You know, whereas they know that we're we're going to damage their property if we can, but we're not going to hurt them. The Sea Shepherd crews are all volunteers and um, some people apply think maybe that it's going to be like some sort of pirate holiday or something but um, the reality is you know on the ships we just are working every day very hard and it's a very strict and um, disciplined environment. We, we try to do everything as safely as, as we can on our campaigns at sea but the reality is that when you're out in the ocean for long periods of time you're going to um, have the ocean throwing a lot of rough weather at you and plus we're trying to operate in these conditions and do the job which we're doing, which is to track down illegal poaching. Um, so we're best known for doing that in Antarctica, and um, the conditions in Antarctica are pretty severe. You know, probably um, you know one of the most difficult things I've had to do in in the years is um, we were trying to refuel uh, one of our fast boats. It's, um, it's basically our third ship called the Godzilla at the time, and um, to refuel it we have to tow it behind the Steve Irwin and, and then lay out a refueling line. And um, we were trying to do this at sea in fairly rough conditions and we had a harpoon ship chasing us. And um, the uh, tow line caught in the props of the Gojira. So the Gojira, the engine wouldn't work. Because I'm a diver, I was a ship's uh, diver, I was asked to go in and try and cut this uh, line off the prop of the Gojira. And um, probably for me, that was one of the most difficult and dangerous things I had to do because the water is just extremely cold and there was a threat of that harpoon ship coming in on top as well. And um, I was probably in the water for about 45 minutes, just with a hacksaw and different sort of knives and everything, trying to um, hang on to the bottom of this vessel that's just being slammed up and down the waves, and also just trying to cut that line off. And um, yeah, it was extremely difficult. The main thing we need is people that are just dedicated, that are passionate about trying to protect the world's oceans, that realise that, you know, that the earth isn't a major environmental crisis right now and especially the oceans and um, you know if the people are motivated by that then they'll be prepared to do the hard work and you know a lot of these species are endangered or they have really small numbers so you know every time we protect one of those creatures hopefully they can reproduce and um, you know we you know we're protecting a lot of DNA for the future and for the planet so now Paul is under house arrest in Germany um, and he's facing extradition uh, to Costa Rica um, we're worried that if they get him into a Costa Rican prison he'll be killed because the Taiwanese Mafia, the Shark Fin Mafia, have a $20,000 hit out against Paul. It's almost routine for us, you know, we have people that we're operating against, the, the illegal poachers always trying to get at us in, in whatever way they can, you know. It does hamper what we're trying to do, but, you know, it's just, um, it shows that we're being effective if they're prepared to go to such lengths to try to stop us, so, yeah, hopefully Paul will be out soon.